Advertisements. The cost of using a free service. But at what cost? Advertisement. Or did I already say that? There are ads all over the internet. You probably saw an ad before this video. Most Google search results are paid ads. I'm actually doing an ad right now. Toilet paper. What is it? But for whatever reason, it seems like the worst ads are on Facebook and Instagram. Obviously, you've got all those mobile games that straight up lie about what the game is. And then another thing I've noticed recently is a lot of companies saying like, oh, the stimulus checks are here, so we've got a sale. We wanted to do our part during these difficult times, so we've decided to let you give us money. And then Facebook uses your interests to try to target related things to you. Oh, you like music? Then check this out. And I don't like it. I love it. But most of the time it's crap or it's products that probably are good, but they cost twice as much as they should because they need to make back the money they spent on marketing. So I decided, you know what? I'm gonna actually review some of this stuff. Everything that I see advertised to me on Instagram for the next week, I will pay for, and then I will own it. Wish me luck. I don't know why I had to do a cutaway. I was already on day one. Uh, I had a feeling this would pop up. I've been seeing this a lot lately. It's a pillow that's shaped like a cube and it's called Pillow Cube. First impressions from looking at it is that it does not look comfortable. It looks like it's made for people with very angular bodies or perhaps a robot. So I guess this started as an Indiegogo and Kickstarter and yeah, it kind of went viral. I don't know if 75,000 views, most of which were from paid ad campaigns is something I would classify as going viral, but this is actually a pretty good commercial. Wow, that is soft. The price isn't terrible. I mean, there certainly are more expensive pillows out there, but for 70 bucks, this better be pretty damn comfortable. Potential red flag. I'm noticing an unexpected theme here with the reviews. A lot of people are saying that it smells like peanut butter. According to this guy, like a lot, ha ha ha, Almost like somebody dipped it in a jar and then shipped it. It's so weird, man. This pillow smells just like peanut butter. And every morning when I wake up, I have peanut butter all over the side of my face. So I rub it on some toast and it tastes just like peanut butter and it's delicious. And now I have that for breakfast every morning and I have no regrets, 10 out of 10. Gotta say, I'm very intrigued by the peanut butter pillow cube. So guess we'll find out. Okay, this looks kind of fun. A lot of you have commented lately about how my futon mysteriously disappeared from the background of my videos, and it's not a mystery, he left to go to college. But honestly, ever since then, there's been this gaping void in my life that I'd like to fill with something else I can sit on. As usual, one of the first things I like to do when I find a product is sort reviews by lowest, and it's probably a good sign that all of the one-star reviews seem to have been done by mistake. My granddaughter is in love with Moonpot Space Gray one star. Was this helpful? No! Anna A says, I live on my Moonpot. From sitting in my toddler's playroom, reading stories, to watching TV, to working working remotely, it suits all my needs. It has a very little footprint. Like carbon footprint? Is it a hybrid beanbag chair? As long as it doesn't hurt my fracking business. It is more comfortable than you think is possible. Excuse me? Who are you, Anna, to tell me what I think is possible? You don't know what levels of comfort I've imagined. And you know, you may think $299 is a lot until they compare it to similar products. A love sack is $850. Even a regular beanbag chair costs $400. Which beanbag chair are they talking about? At least name a brand. You can get Big Joe from Walmart for 35 bucks. But you can't do all this on Big Joe. You can sit in Moon Pod. You can recline in Moon Pod. You can even lay in Moon Pod. And don't get those two things mixed up, okay? This is reclining and this is laying. You see the difference? Laying, reclining. Ooh. These are not the same thing. And when I'm done with this video, I'm gonna go use my three-in-one shampoo and conditioner that also washes hair. Why even advertise it as three-in-one? You did not need to do this lie. How many people are gonna click on this and be like, 299 bucks? Hell yeah. But only if I can do three things on it. All right, enough yap, and this is probably gonna take forever to get here, so I should probably order it ASAP. <sighs> Bye, money. I'll miss you. Okay, this I can live with. I just dropped $300 on a beanbag chair yesterday, so it would be nice to go with something a little bit cheaper. Plus, I do wear a lot of sweatpants. Ew. 
$89. These pants cost $89? Are they bulletproof? Yeah, these joggers are pretty expensive, but they might just foil an assassination attempt. What even is Vuori? How are you gonna have some obscure made up name and also have the audacity to charge $90 for sweatpants. After only two washes, the side seams have completely frayed. I followed wash instructions exactly and didn't even put them in the dryer. Extremely disappointed with the quality for $90 track pants. Okay, so they're not bulletproof. Generally, I don't mind spending a little bit more for something if I know it's gonna be like high quality, but I have never heard of this brand in my life. So I have no idea what to expect. Guess we'll find out. Why did I buy those pants? Okay, now we're getting interesting. Remember the beginning of the pandemic when everyone bought like 400 rolls of toilet paper and then no one could buy toilet paper? Well, because of that, I had started researching bidets at the time, but those were out of stock everywhere too. Long story short, I haven't wiped my butt in over a year, but the tides may finally be turning thanks to this ad. I've definitely heard of Hello Tushy before. They seem to be pretty similar to Dollar Shave Club in that they don't, do anything that's like revolutionary, but they have really good branding. Like bidets are a very boring product, but they make it seem fun. You can join the clean bud club and get $5 off. Don't mind if I do. And if I have any questions, Real Pooping Human is here to help. So I am definitely curious to try this out. My only reservation is I don't know if we're allowed to install this on our toilets. I'm gonna have to ask my landlord about it. What's up? Were you just, Standing outside the door waiting for someone to mention you by name? No, I came here to tell you your dishwasher's broken. Well then fix it. That is not my job. That literally is your job. Also, do you think my name is landlord? Yes. Landlord is not my name, it's my profession. My name is Ninja. My parents named me after the Fortnite streamer. How old are you? Uh, I gotta go. Oh man, this staircase is steep. Whoa! Ah! Ow! Ow! You know, I'm five days into this and I gotta say, I'm a little disappointed so far. In the past, I feel like I've gotten so many ads for snack boxes and candy, but this is the week Instagram decides to be like, you wanna spray your butt? and then put on some expensive pants. What I'm about to do is highly questionable. Some of you may even call it tampering, but I have to try to take matters into my own hands. If these ads are truly as targeted as they're supposed to be, then it's nothing a few Google searches can't change. Candy, 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 candy store near me. Delicious candy. Siri, text my wife, candy for dinner? Good news, it worked. Bad news, did it though? <laughs> it's spicy candy. Uh, I was hoping for mild. They must be pretty popular though because they're sold out of a lot of their flavors at the moment. I'm just gonna go with the watermelon ones that I saw advertised to me and hope that I don't end up hating my life. It's been one week. I thought I had seen the worst. I thought spicy candy, well, at least tomorrow will be better. And then I saw this. Instagram has a cruel sense of humor for saving this one until the end. I was one day from retirement, damn it. Well, let's check it out. So a company called Microclimate is making this protective space helmet with a built-in fan and filtration system, and it costs $300. This is obviously supposed to be an advanced and very expensive alternative to wearing a mask. The transparent acrylic dome allows the wearer full peripheral vision. This helps the device quickly fade into the background after being put on. You know, I'm not so sure that's true. Maybe for you, you'll forget about it, but for the people staring at you in the grocery store, I don't think they're gonna be like, what the hell is, oh wait, no, he has full peripheral vision. Okay, nothing to see. They've got a fair amount of testimonials. Reggie Watts is one of them. If it dies, do you lose oxygen? <laughs> that would be crazy. Hey, if Reggie Watts likes it, I'll give it a shot. You dumbass. I also like how they're also trying to make it seem like it serves multiple purposes. It's not just for the pandemic, it's also for seasonal allergies. <laughs> Now I'm sold. I'll be sure to wear this out in my garden and then see how long it takes for my neighbors to stop talking to me. All right, let's go ahead and buy it. Honestly, this is a pretty good haul here. I'm excited for everything, not just for the helmet. Our total came in at just under $1,000. <laughs> 
which is not great, but I guess it could be worse. Now all I gotta do is wait for everything to show up. Oh, there it is. Mail's here. I'm gonna go ahead and open the Moon Pod first because it's the thing I'm most excited about and also uh, so I have somewhere to sit for this part of the video. Excuse me. It says not to open it with a sharp object, so I'll try my best. I'm a sucker for instructions. I will always follow them. Did I get the white one? Smell test. You know how when you go to like Dick's Sporting Goods, the whole store just smells like baseball gloves? That's what this smells like. Ah, the cover. Hole in one. No, that's fine. You don't need to help, just keep sitting there. Jeez. Having a little bit of trouble here. Maybe I should've done this last. I'm already sweating. Oh my God. This is kind of a nightmare, honestly. I did it! And it only took nine minutes. It's more rectangular than I was expecting. I guess I thought it would look more like a, a beanbag chair and not a giant pill. Honestly, uh, I'm a little underwhelmed. As far as comfort goes, this is like bare minimum. It just feels like I'm sitting on beads. The way they advertise it on the website, I thought it would have some kind of special material inside that would be unlike anything I've ever felt before. It's the moon pod. It's supposed to be out of this world. I don't know, for $300, I'm just not that impressed. I mean, it's definitely better than sitting on the floor. Uh, like outside in the rain. All right, let's get these pants out of the way. Just a reminder guys, I spent $89 on these, so they really are gonna have to blow me away here. I mean, they're definitely pants. They're a little baggier than I thought they'd be. Uh, that is what the one review said. They're very warm. Like I've only had these on for about 30 seconds and I can already tell I'm gonna sweat up a storm in these. When I take these off, they're gonna be just soaking wet on the inside. But. Pocket. This is where I can hold all of the money that I would still have if I didn't use it to buy these pants. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up the pillow cube next because I haven't eaten lunch yet and I'm kind of in the mood for PB&J. It does not smell like peanut butter. It smells <laughs> like wet paint. I don't know if that's better. Obviously I haven't gotten a chance to sleep on this yet. I'm gonna sleep on it tonight and let you know what I think. But first impression as with everything so far is I can't believe I spent as much money on this as I did. So I've slept on this a couple times now and I think I like it. I kind of alternate between this and my other pillow but I'll definitely get some use out of this. It is definitely as soft as advertised but in hindsight I probably should have gone with a wider one. Uh, also, I woke up my cat, sorry. Time for the bidet. Is it breaking? Let me tell you guys a little story about how crafty I am. So I wanted to install this in our second bathroom just in case I messed up really bad and like broke the toilet. But then I realized I needed a flathead screwdriver to take out the seat and couldn't for the life of me find mine. So I went out and bought another one. Then I tried to unscrew the seat and I kept turning and turning and turning and nothing would happen. So I gave up and went to our other bathroom. The same thing was happening there. And then I realized, oh, you also have to unscrew the lug nuts on the bottom, you fucking moron. So then I successfully removed the seat and inserted the bidet and that only took a couple minutes. Now all I had to do was hook it into the water line, which I managed to loosen all the way until I realized I needed to replace that pipe with a more flexible one so the bidet attachment would actually fit. I didn't realize I could have just ordered this part from Hello Tushy when I bought the bidet, but I'm not exactly the most forward thinking person. Anyway, I had to go out and buy one from Home Depot and from there I had no issues. If I'd actually been prepared ahead of time, this whole process would have taken about 10 minutes, but instead I turned it into a two day project. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got a butt to spray. Hole in one! Here they are. I've smelled a lot of smells in this video so far, and the smell I'm going to experience when I open this sealed pack of spicy candy is something I'm not excited for. First impression, like all candy that gets delivered to your mailbox and just kind of sits there for a while, um, this has all <laughs> congealed into one solid object. Like one of the commenters said, it's basically just like regular candy that they put red chili flakes on. All right, here goes nothing.
Let me try one with more spice on it. I feel like there wasn't a lot of spice. Uh, here's a nice close up for you guys. No. The candy itself is good. I'm a sucker for sour candy. I just wouldn't put these two things together. I'll have one more. It's just weird, it's not for me. My final thoughts on Chili Chews is that they are not sitting very well in my stomach and it's a good thing that I already installed that bidet. Boy oh boy, am I excited for this one. Here it is. Some accessories in here. You've got like a, a microfiber cloth. Looks like the charging cable. Uh, also a flight fact card. I believe that is what you show to like the flight attendant when you, you want to wear this on a plane. To show them like, look, this is, this is legit. I don't know if that would actually work <laughs> because according to the CEO of the company, he was like, yeah, they still made me put on a mask. Um, I started to explain um, what the device was that I had on, but they weren't having any of it and were about to take me off the flight. You know, it's funny, the, the whole point of this is so you can have this on without having to wear a mask, but I have never wanted to cover my face more than I do right now. The only thing I really hear is the fan. Um, I feel like if someone was talking to me outside, I would not be able to hear them at all. There almost needs to be like a microphone on the outside and then speakers on the inside. <laughs> Oh wait, they didn't say anything about burps. It's very loose. Oh wait, I think I figured it out. Okay, and then that goes, I think I figured out the strap. And then I think I just broke. <laughs> oh, God damn it. All right, nice solid fit. Uh, my hair is very much in my eyes now. Not much I can do about that. Drink test. Uh, I just gotta. And it's that easy. Yeah, definitely shouldn't have worn glasses with this. It's pushing down on my glasses and instinctively I want to like push them back up, but there seems to be a glass dome in my way. I would say overall the theme today has been uh, overpriced and disappointing, but it's not fair for me to judge this just sitting here in my house. I shouldn't have to wear this sitting right here. What I need to do is take this out for a test drive. Within minutes, I couldn't believe how wrong I was. This thing is incredible. I've never felt more safe in my life. Safe from contagious diseases and motorcycle accidents, from thunderstorms and rogue baseballs. I think I might be invincible. Siri, cancel my doctor's appointment tomorrow. I don't need it anymore. I deserve to be rewarded for this moment of clarity. I deserve a snack. So I guess there is one downside. So to organize my final thoughts on all these products, I'm gonna be putting letter grades into a tier list uh, because my brain is broken and that's the only way it knows how to assess things. Right off the bat, MoonPod, straight up F. I wouldn't say it's an F tier product. If I got it for free, I'd say it's like C at the best. But I spent like 340 bucks, I think, for this thing. It feels super cheap. It's not that comfortable. It's very noisy. Every time you move, I feel like my my wife can hear me from across the house. It feels like a $50 beanbag chair at the most. The pillow cube was actually pretty comfortable. If the moon pod was made out of the memory foam that the pillow cube was made out of, it would be the most comfortable fucking chair in the world. My only thing with the pillow is that I wish I had just went ahead and bought the bigger one. It's not very wide. And if you move around in your sleep at all, which everybody does for the most part, you're gonna wake up in some weird positions, which kind of defeats the purpose of having something that's supposed to like keep you from waking up with neck pain. The pants definitely grew on me as time went on. Really the only thing with these is that you cannot possibly justify the $89 price tag. I would say like 40 bucks at the most. This could go in either B or C. I'm gonna put it in C just because of the price, um, but they're decent pants. I'm also gonna put the chili chews in the C tier. Obviously I didn't personally like them, uh, but I've never had spicy candy before. That's not really my thing. Probably the product that is most accurately priced out of everything on this list. The microclimate mask is going straight to S tier. My only regret with it is I wish I had spent more money on it. I wish it cost twice as much. And then the bidet, I think I'm gonna put that in A tier. Uh, it works pretty well. It's 
the only thing on this list that I probably would have bought anyway, but it was pretty easy to hook up and it's the kind of thing that I'm gonna use pretty much every day. If I were to take anything away from this video, it would probably be that uh, if you see something advertised to you on Instagram, it probably costs twice as much as it should. It's probably not as good of a product as you think it will be. And the reviews can be misleading. I guess the last thing I'm curious about is uh, after engaging so much with the Instagram algorithm, what it thinks of me as a consumer. Now that they've identified me as someone who literally buys everything, what are they gonna advertise to me next? Is it just gonna be crazy expensive stuff? Are they gonna try to get me to buy a car? I'm actually kind of curious. Get through some stories and they think I'm depressed. God damn it. Oh, I be going up that mile. A lot of people say that breakfast is the most important meal of the day, but I think that dinner is easily in the top three. When you've just spent all day at work though, it can be daunting to think of what meal to make. Do I even have the right ingredients? Is my fridge plugged in? Why did I unplug my fridge? These are the kind of questions we ask ourselves that lead to getting fast food six times a week. But it doesn't have to be that way. With HelloFresh, you get three delicious meals, easy to follow recipe cards, pre-portioned ingredients so there's less prep and nothing goes to waste, and the excitement and satisfaction that comes with getting a package delivered to your house every week. And that's my favorite part. Worried you might end up with a meal you won't like? Then pick a different one. I do it all the time. Their app makes it super easy to swap something out in a matter of seconds. You can even throw in fun extras like cinnamon rolls, garlic bread, a big bucket of tar. Oh, what's that? Oh, they don't do the tar? Okay, got it cookies. Even if you're someone with specific dietary preferences, HelloFresh still has you covered. They've got low calorie, low carb, vegetarian, and pescatarian meals to choose from every week sourced directly from farmers. Listen, I'm gonna be real with you, Chief. I'm not just a spokes guy for HelloFresh, I'm also a customer. And I wouldn't spend my own money on something I didn't like except for all the stuff from this video, ignore that. HelloFresh is legitimately delicious. I'm so glad my wife and I started ordering them a few years ago. Uh, we've gotten them almost every week since then, and we love it. If you're interested in trying out HelloFresh with a free meal, I'll do you 11 better. That's right, 12 free meals, including free shipping, and all you have to do is go to hellofresh.com and use my promo code, I'm a little stinker 12. It sounds fake, but it's legit, I promise. Thank you to HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video. Now back to me doing an outro that I haven't filmed yet. Okay, well I'm filming it now, geez. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching today's video all the way up until the end, or for some reason clicking on it and skipping directly to this part. I hope you all learned something today. Uh, I know I sure did. I learned not to buy stuff online, because most of it sucks. Or you know what, maybe that's not what I learned, because I had a lot of fun making this video and I might do a part two somewhere down the road. That depression clinic isn't gonna research itself. Anyway, thank you again for watching. I will see all of you tomorrow for our big date at Olive Garden. Bye.